Hey y'all, so yes, I did hear about the car crash situation that Charlene put in her most recent video. Yes, I heard about it, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what she had to say about it. Car was taken and it was crashed, it was totaled, so I don't know, like like I said, I just don't know how to go about this situation, but I'm just happy. And it was crashed, it was totaled, so twins, I cannot wait to see them. Guys, my car was taken and it was crashed, it was totaled, so I don't know, like like I said, I just don't know how to go about this. Now, first off, the word is taken, not took it, taken. Next, do I believe this story? I don't know. I have no idea. Did she do a police report? Is there any evidence? Is there any proof that somebody has really taken her car and crashed it? We haven't seen it. Not that it didn't happen or it couldn't have happened, but when Charlene says something happened, it's hard to believe her because we know she does do a lot of lying. Will we ever find out what really happened to this car? I'm not sure, but we'll have to wait and see. I don't know about y'all, but I thought it was crazy the fact that she said she ran away from Vegas because it wasn't safe. But now we have a video of her saying that somebody took her car and crashed it, totaling it. It's very, very, very ironic to me. Just look at how happy and excited Charlene is driving her new car when she just drove it off of the lot. Charlene also wanted to let everybody know to speak things into existence. Whatever you want, speak it because words are powerful. Listen to this. Stuff, man, just speak everything into existence, guys. The power is in your guys' tongue. Speak it, anything you want. New house, new car, new job, new anything. New life, anything, better attitude, anything you want. Speak it into existence and follow those guidelines. Just follow now, if you want some history on this car, CJ gives us the history of the car and why it is the way it is. Listen to this. This red eye is supposed to mean that it's possessed by the demon because this is not a regular Hellcat. The red eye has demon parts in it. It got demon speed, demon suspension, demon everything. So they basically gave it the red eye to make it be possessed. The only difference in the demon and this is the demon is not street legal. And then you gotta have roll cage all in there, which looks super ugly. We ain't no real racer, so we don't want no metal poles inside our car, right, Royalty? No. So the demon and yes, if you didn't know, the reason that Charlene was able to get this car, get it on her credit in her name, is because of CJ. If you don't believe me, listen to this. So you proud of me, baby? Yeah, I've been saying it. Thank you. You got your SRT red eye, okay? That's not and I thank you very much, too, because you got me on my credit, you know? You was like, royalty, you need credit. You need credit. Charlene even called this car her equity. You've got to hear this. Saying after this car, after I do my little payments or whatever, I can go to the car lot and get any freaking car that I want. I ain't gotta put no money down because this car right here is basically my equity, right? No, it's not your equity, this is your proof. My proof that I can this be. Is your, this is your history, right? Here. Yeah, yeah, this and I have history. no history at all. <laughs> yeah, I had no history before this. And then as quick as she got this car and was so excited to have it, she actually scratched it and messed it up. What's up, baby? You got the dirtiest car in the block. Oh my God! I asked you if you wanted it washed, you said no. Oh, mm, yeah, thank you, okay. Um, okay, kinda got one hand here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> CJ coming. You wrecked your co- What? You lying. No, I hit a cone. You hit a cone. She hit a cone in her car. Let's check it out. Thank God this kind not in my name. Thank God that insurance ain't in my name either. Oh my God. Oh my It wasn't my fault. The cone was right there. Dumb. You smacked a, what the? Damn. You smacked a cone in 2020 red, no, this is 2021. Dodge red eye hell cat. And CJ even got the car customized for her. He paid to get it customized. Just like, I'm just like, but yeah, so uh, not only are they about to fix it, we're about to surprise royalty, man. As you can see, what? it says Red Eye Royalty, but it got a freaking logo of the Hellcat right there, man. Royalty got her own freaking logo. She got her own website, she got her own stuff. So we cooked up something better than <laughs> this. So it's kind of Now in Charlene fashion, of course nothing is her fault. It's the car's fault. Listen to this. Help me! I'm about to! I mean, I have to go check on the car. Oh my God. The car is more freaking important than these groceries. They got smashed, you got smashed, the car got smashed. Well, it's not my father that's been raining in the car here today. 
Man, it ain't. When I turn the wheel, the car spin. Wow. Barely turned the corner. <laughs> now, I also wanted to show you these pictures because for some reason, Charlene thought it was a good idea to take a fart spray, you know, the prank spray that people use to do pranks with. She took it to Target, sprayed it in a candle, and then had the children smell it. Now, this, this can't be the same woman who said that pranks were old and childish, and if the kids want to do pranks, they can do pranks, but she's not going to be on there doing pranks because it's old challenges and pranks and all that stuff but I just feel like that's just so like I don't know it's like kind of I don't want to say it's outdated but it's just like I don't know like I said I don't want to say like it's outdated or it's just like I just feel like it's just a recycled thing you know I want to give out like educational videos show you how to like you know bond and communicate with your friends your family remember how she said that after Lexi did a prank on CJ mm -hmm. now the worst part of this prank is the fact that she told the children to go and put the candle back after she just sprayed farts right in there so you're going to damage the candle because now who's going to want to buy that? And what if somebody buys it without even smelling it? Look what you did then. So in my opinion, that is damaging store property and then just putting it back. Why would you do that, Charlene? She could have at least bought the candle and then was like, oh, it was a prank, but I'm still about the candle because I did spray this in there and nobody wants to smell that. I'm going to buy it and then throw it away. But she left it on the shelf for somebody else to purchase. In my opinion, she definitely should not do pranks because she has no idea what she's doing. Now, on a positive note, I do want to say that Charlene did say that her and CJ are doing very well co-parenting. And in my opinion, that's because CJ is just allowing her to make herself look stupid and not reacting to her crazy ways. So good job, CJ. She also mentioned being mad at Lexi because she said that Lexi took a picture of her twins in a car with no car seat. And she says that Lexi and CJ, they should worry about the kids' safety. Now, if you missed it, I did do a video proving that Charlene does not care about her children's safety. But hey... I'll link it above right here, and the video is also right here on the screen. But yeah, she does not care. She allowed her brother to record her two daughters holding her two twins in the car with no car seats or seatbelts on. Now, does that sound like a mother who cares about safety? I'll wait. Y'all have got to let me know what you think about this whole car crash situation. Do you believe Charlene's story that somebody stole it and crashed it and totaled it? Are you happy that it seems like CJ and Charlene are getting along for the kids and at least doing that right? What do you think about Charlene spraying fart spray in a candle and then putting it back on the shelf? And let me know down in the comment section, do you think Charlene really cares about safety or is she still just mad at Lexi for everything? Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will definitely see you in the next one. Stuff, man, just speak everything into existence, guys. The power is in your guys' tongue. Speak it, anything you want. New house, new car, new job, new anything. New life, anything, better attitude, anything you want. Speak it into existence and follow those guidelines.